Hello friend, welcome to CSC guide. So today we solve the next problem of this series. So the problem title is diagonal difference. So let's go to the problem. So at first I increase the font size. So given a square matrix, calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonal. So you have to calculate the diagonal sum of a square matrix. Uh, first you have to calculate the primary diagonal sum and then secondary diagonal sum. So primary diagonal sum is to left to right diagonal and secondary diagonal is right to left diagonal. So I think you understand. So in this example you can see that 1, 5 and 9 are the element of primary diagonal and 3, 5 and 9 are the element of second diagonal. So if you calculate the sum of this primary diagonal you get 15 and if you sum of this three element of secondary diagonal then you get 17 and finally your task is to determine the difference between 17 and 15 which is 2 so i think you understand so i don't read anything i directly go to the second rank editor and make it full screen so your your task is to simply understand try to understand this written code but if you don't able to do this or if you are a beginner and don't able to do this then you simply complete the first incomplete function present in this editor so that's why i complete this diagonal difference function so for that i simply declare two variables one is primary diagonal so pd equal to zero and another is hd secondary diagonal and that's it that's also initialized to zero and after that i use two for loop to traverse the whole array so for first for loop i use i and the second for loop i use j so these two loop are for traversing the whole array and your task is to determine the primary and secondary diagonal so i simply use a condition to determine this element is the element of primary diagonal or not so for that i write i equal to equal to j or not so if you see in this example you see that one the index of this one element is 0 0 that means i equal to j and index of this five element is 1 1 so i equal to j and 9 is 2 2 so that's why i equal to j so if i equal to j is satisfied that means this element is the element of primary diagonal so we store this element into this pd variable so that's why i write pd plus equal to so this pd gives you the sum of this primary diagonal so now your task is to determine the sum of the secondary diagonal so that's why i use another condition and this time i write i plus j equal to equal to n minus 1 if you simply check this condition then you get that 3 the index of this element is 2 0 so 2 plus 0 equal to 2 that means n minus 1 so n is basically the number of row and column present in this square matrix so for 5 the index is 1 1 so the 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so that is n minus 1 and this is a 9 and the index of this 9 element is uh, 0 2 so if we sum up 0 and 2 then we get 2 that is n minus 1 so that means if this condition is satisfied the element are from secondary diagonal so that's why i store this element into this hd and write the same array i and j so that means this PD gives the primary diagonal sum and HD gives the secondary diagonal sum. So now I come out from this loop and write return ABS that means absolute value of PD minus HD. So that's the code is done but you have to uh, specify the n present here that's why I write int n equal to array dot size so that gives the size that means the number of row and column present in this array vector so now i check 
by clicking the run code button and you can see this congratulation page on here so now i check by clicking the submit button and you can see that all the test cases passed so that's why we get some point uh, we get 10 point so this is for today see you in the next video thank you friend goodbye